Hi friends, welcome back to Cadable. This is Engineer Ibrahim Umar and today I'll show you how to use uh, uh, SolidWorks uh, project curve uh, effectively. Uh, the, this is the exercise of a, a shoehorn and uh, uh, here uh, I'll be making this using uh, a 3D curve or uh, uh, project curve. Right? Uh, we can make it using 3D sketch as well but uh, uh, 3D sketches are uh, quite tricky and you have to match uh, uh, let's say first uh, front view and then a top view or side view uh, okay so here uh, you can see the commands i have used uh, this is the uh, project curve and under uh, project curve we have two sketches one is sketch at the uh, front plane and one is sketch at the top plane and then i have used a command called surface fill you can use boundary as well and then a uh, surface trim and under surface trim you can see this command uh, this is a simple uh, ellipse and then thicken uh, because it is a single body so i uh, did not use a command called uh, knit surface you can see here uh, if you have uh, multiple surfaces so you knit uh, you first knit all surfaces and then you apply thicken or fillet or uh, uh, any command right uh, lastly i have used two commands uh, two fillets one is the i think full uh, full face fillet and the other is the simple fillet right so we'll make it in solidworks uh, let's go to new and uh, uh, part and okay uh, i'm using solidworks uh, 2020 so let's change this scene to plain white and now we are in solidworks interface okay so let's uh, sketch uh, the profile let's go to front plane and uh, select sketch and uh, uh, we'll sketch a simple spline go to spline and uh, uh, let's cancel this let's say first i'll make a center line and the length will be 150 millimeters Let's change it to 150 and you can see uh, my units mmgs millimeters gram second okay uh, next is uh, uh, i'll go to his spline and i'll make a spline uh, here here and connect this okay uh, let's go to here point and let's add a point here and select this point hold control key and uh, make it uh, coincident right okay uh, we can uh, this sketch is still underdefined but i think it's okay uh, next is uh, okay uh, now you can see this profile this profile has no thickness right so i have to add uh, another profile at the top plane and uh, okay uh, i'll go to a sketch and a sketch uh, and the plane is uh, top plane we are already in top plane and now i will sketch the top part of the geometry okay so i will go to here uh, ellipse and uh, i'll make a ellipse here to here okay let's just drag this to here because it was uh, control z drag here okay uh, rotate and uh, let's select this point hold control key and select this point and make coincident okay select this point hold control key select this point make coincident now you can see uh, i can add thickness to this uh, spline right uh, this sketch is underdefined so i will add some dimensions the thickness of this ellipse and uh, i think uh, the thickness is uh, 70 okay now i can uh, add a project curve so for project curve you need to go to features and here curves project curve and uh, we have two types of uh, curves here sketch on faces and sketch on sketches so i have no uh, faces so i will select uh, uh, this sketch on sketch i have one sketch here and one sketch here and uh, you can see the preview right let's rotate this so you can see this preview uh, now one, one very important thing is uh, when you see this uh, 3d sketch or uh, sorry uh, project curve from front view so you will see the profile of the first sketch right 
and uh, when you rotate your model to top view and uh, you will see the uh, profile uh, the second profile right the ellipse profile and it matches the first profile with the uh, second profile now you can see this uh, right this uh, this profile the front profile and the top profile right basically it adds thickness and it is very useful when you are modeling a car or mouse or anything right and the advantage of this project curve uh, over a 3d sketch is uh, 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 we control this project curve uh, very effectively uh, rather than in a 3d sketch you need more time to uh, match your uh, let's say front view and top view uh, simultaneously right let's say uh, when you are uh, dealing with 3d sketch so first you need to uh, sketch this profile and then uh, uh, this profile right uh, on the top view and then you have to match this profile uh, with the top profile right so uh, this is uh, very easy and uh, very effective as well right okay uh, so uh, now i will go to here surfaces and uh, uh, you, uh, we can add boundary surface as well but uh, i will use here fill, uh, filled surface it is easy and uh, uh, here you can see the preview okay uh, now uh, uh, you can see this blue line on the edges so i'll go to here curve and i will hide this uh, next is uh, let's say i'll make a ellipse here uh, so i'll go to here top planes like the sketch and uh, i'll make ellipse here and we'll trim this using trim tool let's delete this let's add the uh, ellipse tool let's say here and select this origin uh, select this and make a uh, horizontal right uh, not coincident uh, let's add, uh, add some dimensions from the center point of the ellipse to the origin and let's change it to let's say 25 uh, let's change it to 30 okay and uh, this one is uh, 30 uh, it is still underdefined you can see that i can drag in this direction so i have to add a constraint uh, dimension here you can see, uh, uh, let's change this to let's say 15 okay uh, still uh, you can see i can rotate this so click this point click this point and make horizontal now you can see that it is fully defined okay uh, now i will trim this portion so i'll go to here surfaces and uh, i will find this uh, trim surface here is the trim surface and uh, the trim tool is this and remove selection uh, not this one but this one click ok right now you can see the hole okay uh, uh because this is a single surface so i don't need to apply this knit surface when you have uh, multiple surfaces like one two three so you, uh, first you have to apply this knit surface and then thicken so i will go directly to thicken because you can see that it is a single surface body so click here thicken uh, click here and now you can see the preview right uh, downward or upward or middle right so let's say i will add here middle and let's change this thickness to let's say two millimeters uh, i think two millimeters is fine click okay and now you can see that the surface body is changed into solid body right uh, because you can see the thickness the uh, the difference between solid modeling and so, uh, surface modeling is uh, we have no thickness in surface modeling and we have thickness in solid modeling right so the criteria is uh, uh, you can use uh, surface modeling and then lastly you can apply uh, thickness so uh, uh, your model uh, will be converted from surface to, to solid right and in real world we have all things uh, as solid uh, let's go to uh, fillet and uh, let's apply a full round uh, fillet and uh, it takes basically three inputs this face and uh, let's say this face and we have uh, two faces here uh, let's add this and lastly one input this one and now you can see the preview click ok uh, lastly i will apply a fillet here as well so uh, let's go to fillet features fillet and uh, let's select this one constant size fillet we mostly use this fillet and let's change this to let's say uh, one millimeter and let's add uh, let's select this edge 
and this edge right click ok and now we are done with this uh, basically this is a, a shoehorn and uh, uh, lastly uh, I will apply some let's say uh, some material so let's go to here uh, appearance and uh, let's drag this let's go to plastic uh, and under plastic uh, we, we have high gloss and let's uh, let's drag this to here and uh, I think uh, blue is fine okay uh, we have metal uh, shoe on as well but I think it's fine for this exercise and the basic purpose was uh, to learn uh, project curve and uh, uh, these curves are very useful and uh, I mostly prefer uh, project curve over uh, 3d sketches because uh, you can control these curves very effectively uh, for example uh, you first sketch uh, in this plane and then on this plane and then uh, uh, you combine this sketch with this sketch to make a 3d sketch right uh, we can add uh, let's say front profile and side profile as well but it only takes two inputs right that's it for uh, today's tutorial i hope you like it and if you have any questions uh, regarding this tutorial or uh, any other tutorial in my list you can ask in the comment section thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel for more informative and interesting videos thank you